In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can make this. The Puce Rifle from Aliens using cardboard only. Let's dive into the video. Oh no! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on and do this faster! You faster! F*** you! F*** you! I don't care about that! I don't care about that! F*** you! Calm down now. <laughs> hey, I'm Raphael. I work in the movie industry as a professional steady camera operator, but I also have an unusual skill. I make mind blowing props for movies like this using only cardboard, and I show you how to do this. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make an impressive puss rifle from aliens using only cardboard, some paper, and a few easy tools. But hey, at any point during this tutorial, don't forget to check out the notes and links in the description box below. I list all the tools and products that I use, as well as some additional resources and of course templates for all parts that I make. But quickly before diving into the video, the shout out of the week. I want to shout out the comments and YouTube channel of the week. Thank you so much for leaving this comment on my previous video and for supporting the channel. The second one is our Instagram profile of the week. Thank you so much for sharing my previous video in your Instagram story. It's truly appreciated and honestly makes my day when I see you guys watching my videos and sharing them in real time. Now, if you want to be featured in my next video, you can do one of the following two things. Number one, leave a comment below on this video. Or number two, screenshot this video and share it in your Instagram story. Just don't forget to tag me. Now let's dive right into the video. The very first step is cutting out the pieces using the templates that are linked in the description box below. Cut the patterns with a scissor like this. And transfer all of them on your pieces of cardboard. Glue them lightly with a regular paper glue. and transfer all the edges using a pencil, that way. Next, cut out all the pieces using a precision knife. You'll have to do that for all the following pieces of this tutorial. Cut a few pieces like these ones. Using a hot glue gun, glue the pieces number one together that way. And glue the number two and the number three on each side of it like this. flush with this edge, so you have the gap on the bottom. Cut several pieces like this and glue them the same way. and make the third one the same way as well. Question of the day, what props from Alien Saga would you like me to make next? Write their name in the comment section below. Close roughly the corrugation on the top of this one using thin pieces of cardboard. Remove what exceeds. But leave an empty space in the front over here. 
Beauty is for once on top of each other that way. To have a thick rectangular piece like this. And glue it inside of this one here. Glue it in the middle of this hole so you'll have equal gaps on each side. After that, fit little pieces in the gaps to close the openings. The idea is to have at the end a curved shape like this. Curve this one in the direction of the corrugations. And glue it underneath here, aligned with these edges. Then, using a precision knife, we open these holes. Glue the pieces number two here, flush with these edges. Glue these two elements together that way. As I did for this part before, hide the corrugations here with a piece of cardboard. Shape this one in the direction of the corrugations. And glue it underneath here as I did for the number 4. And then glue these two ones on both sides here. Afterwards, make several holes on the underneath part. Draw them with a pencil and carve them with a precision knife. Then cut three pieces like those ones and make walls with them. Start by smashing them strongly like this and then, using your fingers, roll them that way. and glue the last 3 cm for the wall stay put. To have at the end 3 tight walls like these ones. Put them into the holes of the rifle and remove what exceeds. Next, curve this piece in the direction of the corrugations. And glue one of the walls here. And the second one over here. Next, put the wall piece into the holes of the rifle. and glue the outer side on the two outer tips. After that, make sure that you can move it up and down without too much of difficulties. Like this. And next, glue the third walls here. Apply a little piece on the top of it. Cut what exceeds and remove a small part from the middle of it. To end up with something that looks like this. And then close the remaining corrugations on the top of it here, using thin pieces of cardboard. Don't forget that all the templates that you need to make this prop are in the description below, as well as the tools and products that I use. Glue this one here, flush with this edge. And these little ones on the other side. Afterwards, cut and glue small pieces of cardboard on the inside to smooth the angles, like this. and remove what exceeds. To 
have at the end something that looks like this, and do the same for the other side of it. Close the corrugations in the front of the rifle with a thin piece of cardboard, like this, and do the same for this part here, as well as for the handle here, 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 and here. Then, as I did for this part here, remove some part of the first layer of corrugation from the fore end to make its design. To make these patterns, don't hesitate to have a look on the reference pictures that are linked in the description below with the template. And do the same for the handle. And glue it on the back here. Next, make a mix of wood glue and water. and soak in it pieces of cardboard paper. And apply them on the entire construction, that way. I used grey paper to cover the main structure of the rifle and brown paper for the forehand and the handle. Cut four pieces like this. Glue both tips of the piece number one together to make a tube. And glue the following tree on top of it following the number order. That way. end up with a thick cylinder like this. Then remove a small circle the size of your cylinder from the tip of the rifle and glue this cylinder into it. Afterward, darken the entire structure using a pencil. Then, using the same techniques as before, use these five ones to make another cylinder. But glue the last three ones on the bottom here. To end up with something that looks like this. Cut three little pieces like this, glue them on top of each other, and remove a small part from the top, and glue the cylinder into it. Using two pieces like this one, make two thick walls using the same techniques as before and glue them together that way. As you've done for the main structure, cover it with grey paper as well. Then glue it like this on the back of the cylinder. Cover this element with brown paper and then darken the entire piece with a pencil. Then to make some thick elements of the rifle, cut a few squares from thin grey cardboard and double their thickness by gluing them on top of each other, that way. You'll have to use them to cut all the following pieces. Bend this piece on the lines here. To have a shape like this. Glue these little ones on the side of it. And darken the piece with a pencil. Next, glue the barrel into it like this. Mm -hmm. 
By the way, if you feel like you need to see a little bit more about the specific part that I will be showing you too fast, sign up for free to my mail list in the description box below and you receive a free time-lapse video of me making it start to finish, as well as some additional information and pictures of this craft. Cut another one like this, bend it on the lines and darken it with a pencil. Make two more like this. Glue them together that way. Glue very small pieces into it to hold the connections between the two pieces and close this part with another one. And of course, darken it with a pencil. Glue this one on the back of the rifle here and this one in the middle aligned with this edge. Next, to make the rest of the rifle, cut several pieces like this one, glue the number one and two together that way, and glue the pieces number three on the line here. Glue the number four together too, and glue it on the bottom of it here. Make two more pieces number one and two, glue them together, glue another piece number four on the bottom of it as I did for the first one, here, and glue this line on this part. And then glue the piece number five on the tips here. Then glue it on the top of the rifle. Next, glue the barrel on the front of the rifle here. Make sure to align the tip of it with this edge. Next, remove the bottom of this element to make room for the magazine. Glue a thick square of cardboard over here and glue these two pieces on each side of the rifle here. To make the magazine, cut several pieces like these ones and glue all of them on top of each other following the number orders from the number 18 to the number 1. To end up with something that looks like this. Then apply these pieces on each side of it like this. Afterwards, glue it on the rifle. Next, to make the actual magazine, cut several pieces like these ones, glue these four pieces on top of each other, and glue the number 5 and the number 6 together that way. And glue the two elements together. Next, using thin pieces of cardboard, close all the remaining gaps. And remove what exceeds.
get a few more pieces like these. Glue the number one in the middle of the back of the magazine over here. Bend the lines of the number three here. And glue it into the rifle here. Glue the piece number two above the magazine here. And the number four underneath over here. And the number five on the back here. Make a few more little ones from the grey cardboard you've made before to make some details on the rifle. Remove two very small circles from the first layer of corrugations on each side of the rifle over here and remove the first layer of corrugation from this square as well. Next, as I did for the outer elements of the rifle before, I covered all the middle parts with brown paper. And of course, I did the same for the magazine. Now, look in the reference pictures that are linked in the description below, draw the last details with a pencil. Then cut slightly all the lines of these patterns with a precision knife in order to make them more realistic. I also remove three small parts over here on each side. Then using a thick red pen, draw the number of your choice here. I personally choose 45. Afterward, to make the very small details on the rifle, I made small rolls using cardboard paper and the same mix of wood glue and water as I used before. I cut them in several parts and I glued them on the rifle to make the very small details. To do them right, don't hesitate to have a look on the reference pictures too. Using the same techniques that I used before in this tutorial, I made a little piece like this and I glue it here. Afterwards, to make the pedestal, cut few pieces like these ones, glue them on top of each other that way, and glue these little ones on the lines matching the numbers. Cut a few more like those ones, glue these two pieces on top of each other, and glue these four ones on top of each other two by two. And glue both of them into these rectangular drawings. Glue the two elements together that way and cover it with grey paper too. Next, apply two layers of varnish on the entire construction. Pretty pleased with it. And if you want to see more of how I make my stuff with behind the scenes videos, quick video tips about the techniques I use, private live stream and so on, feel free to have a look on my brand new Patreon page right here. By becoming a Patreon, you're helping this channel to grow and you help me to keep making all of this stuff because yeah, they are a lot of work. And also check out this video right here. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make a terrific xenomorph head using cardboard only. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget there is something awesome in your cardboard boxes.